What is up you beautiful people? I am Rito and in this video I want to talk about why does it seem your Facebook ad costs are increasing and what can you do about it? Now this is something that happens every three months and I'll explain to you the phenomenon. I'll explain to you what you can do in this case because you need to be mentally prepared and your budgets accordingly inside your Facebook ads manager. It is very important you pay close attention because this affects every single dropshipper. Now what I'm going to be talking about is the EOQ effect or the end of quarter effect. So what happens end of quarter? Why is it so special? Now it's not just dropshippers who are advertising on Facebook. What you have to realize is that there are many, many like hundreds of thousands of companies, big and small advertising for all sorts of interests, trying to get those clicks and those sales for their own companies. Dropshipping accounts for a very small percentage of people who spend money on Facebook. There are many, many big and small companies that actually spend money on Facebook. And because Facebook is an auction marketplace where bidding happens for every single interest and every single impression. So you have to either outbid the others or you have to have some solid numbers on your ads. So that is your CPMs, your relevance score, your click through rate, everything engagement needs to be all amazing so that you have lower costs. But the end of quarter effect affects everybody. Even you have an amazing, amazing ad that gets a lot of engagement and click throughs. But even then it affects you because what happens end of quarter is that all these other companies, right? These hundreds of thousands of companies that advertise on Facebook. Well, they they've got marketing teams. So they've got people who are running Facebook. Now the marketing teams can either be in-house or they could have outsourced it to an agency. And in both these cases, companies give these people targets. They give them a budget that they need to spend in every quarter. So what happens is, let's say they've given them a budget of $1 million to spend in a quarter. So they try to divide that budget over that quarter period. But in many, many cases, they are not able to deplete the budget because they're initially very careful with spending the budget because they're more focused on return on ad spend. So what happens is, the last two to three weeks of every quarter, you see these companies just dump in the budget because they need to dump on and move on to the next quarter. So how does this affect you? Well, if there are more companies spending more money in a particular time on every single interest under the sun, whether you're selling like pet products or whether you're selling home accessories, it doesn't matter because there are advertisers in that niche that are not drop shippers and that are like big and small companies who are just trying to vie for those clicks. So what's going to happen to your ads? You'll see a wide fluctuation. You're going to see your ad costs go up and up. Now by ad costs, I mean generally the CPMs and the cost per clicks. So let me just prove that to you and show you how this entire thing plays out. Now March was end of quarter for Q1. So it was March 1st to March 31st. You'll notice one interesting thing. I've loaded up the cost per clicks, right? So just pay attention to the cost per click that comes up written right here, which is 26 cents on February 28th. So it's 24 cents, 27, 20. It was all going nice and dandy. 35, 42. It was still fine. 26 again, 30. But then boom, on March 11th, you see from 30 cents, it went all the way up to 52. And since then, for about two to three weeks, it was just madness. 52, 59, 65, 58, 56, 51, 60. We, you do get some days of relief where you do get lower cost per clicks and on those days you can expect a better return on ad spend but in most days after the first week so for a period of about two to three weeks you're going to have massive massive click through rates and your cpms are going to be way higher for no fault of your own so you see 55 cents 48 cents and then suddenly it starts to die down right here on march 27 55 then 48 then 48 41 55 again and then 39 so it starts to die down towards the end of the month generally what i've noticed is my performance starts to get Get better around the 27th or the 28th of that particular month. Let me show you for June right now, which is the current month going on. Now it's pretty amazing because this is happening right now. That's why I wanted to talk to you guys about it. You'll see here our cost per clicks were about 33 cents. All right, June 1st. Then we have 36 cents. Now, by the way, the numbers that I'm showing you is account wide for all my campaigns, right? It's not just for one product because I'm advertising multiple products at a given time. And many of them are my winners. Many of them are my test products. But you see here, 33 cents is the average cost per click. And suddenly it goes up to 36, then 38, then 43, then 48, and then 47. And then it just goes above 50. And here's why this affects you. So generally, if you look at the period of, let's say, May 1st to 31st, let me just show you this number just so that you can compare, right? You'll see most days it's going to be 27 cents, 34 cents, 33 cents, 26 cents, 30 cents, 23 cents. So this is again, account wide stats on average. So you see here, the cost per clicks aren't that high. So if I were to average out the entire month, it would probably be somewhere around 32 to 33 cents. But what happens after after June 7th or June 8th is that this goes up, the average cost per click goes up above 50 cents, right? So this is why this has a huge effect. If you were spending 32 cents on a click earlier and then you are current now spending over 50 cents, which is like, 
So you've got 56% that you're spending more per click. If you're spending 56% additional to get those same visitors and your conversion rate stays the same. So you are going to see lesser and lesser return on ad spends and that is exactly what happens. So now that you understand the end of quarter effect, what can you do about it? Well, if you're testing new products in this period, I want you to have a little bit of a different mindset. So rather than approach the greater than three return on ad spend rule that I set for my first sale chart during this specific period, that is from the seventh of that month till 28th or 27th of that month from for this period, you have to anticipate higher cost per clicks. So your return on ad spend will not be that high. So if you're testing new products that you don't really know whether work or not. So even if you're getting greater than 2.2 return on ad spend, not three, but greater than 2.2 return on ad spend, let them run because they'll be slightly break even or slightly in profit. But that still helps because you know that when the end of quarter effect goes out, you'll have some pixel data for that product. And then your costs are going to go dramatically down. And then you're going to start to see a much better return on ad spend. So your testing strategy has to change. Also, when you're advertising your current products, let's say you already have a winner, then you have to anticipate that higher cost per clicks, you have to reduce down your budget slightly so that you're not spending that much money because you'll be blowing out a lot of money. So I actually had to reduce my budgets from like $550, $600 a day, all the way down to about $350 or $400 a day, just to get that even space because I know my return on ad spend has gone down, but it's still fine because I'm still making a profit every day. I'm still getting a positive return on ad spend on my winners, especially. So that is awesome for all the new tests that I do for new products. I'm just going to dial down the threshold from three return on ad spend to 2.2. If you still have a greater than 2.2 return on ad spend on a new product test based on the first sale chart, you let them run. If they go below 2.2, well, then you can close it. You can even go down to two because you know that after the EOQ effect finishes, well, you're going to see a much better return on ad spend. So go for it. I hope this was helpful to you guys. If this was, give me the thumbs up and make sure you subscribe and bell to the Flying Start online channel. Thank you again for watching this. Keep a watch out for the next video. I'll be releasing my May 2018 numbers, my revenue, my ad spend, every single thing will be revealed. The income report is coming up next. So until next time, okay, ta-ta, bye-bye.